Okay, so this one's going to be a big problem. We're going to start with a couple of parallel plates here. We're going to put an electron right here. We're going to hook this up, let's say, to a 9 volt. 9 volt battery. So what's going to happen to our electron? It's going to speed up, right? It's going to accelerate through here and reach some velocity. So that's going to be the first question. Question A is going to be what's the velocity Okay, after leaving the plates. Question A. Question B. Uh, our electron's now going to enter a magnetic field. Let's exit this time. We'll say our B field looks like this, which means what's the direction of our B field? In two. In two. Let's say it's 5 Tesla in 2. Letter B, can you sketch the path of the electron? In other words, use your right hand rule. Use your right hand rule to sketch it out, okay? figure out the direction of the force, see how it's going to curve through it. Letter C, let's go ahead and find the exit position this time. So in the last problem we kind of found A, B, C, D, right? I want you just to find D. So I want you to try to do it all at once and not kind of baby step it. All right, letter D. So here's where the problem's gonna change slightly. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a couple parallel plates here. Say some below, or one below, one plate below, and one plate above up here. And the goal of doing this is we want our electron to just move in a straight line. So rather than taking its curved path, we want the electron to just continue in a straight line all the way through. So the first question is going to be, what are going to be the signs on the charged plates? So that the electron remains in a straight line. So we just want it to continue all the way through, straight. And then lastly, letter E. Um, letter E is going to be what's the magnitude of the electric field. Actually, let's find both the magnitude and direction. magnitude and direction of the electric field as it goes through. So let's go ahead and do A. A is a review problem. So A is really just a review problem from the last unit. Actually, not the last unit. Two units ago. Okay. So how are we going to approach A? How are we going to find the velocity after it leaves the plates? What kind of energy do we have right here? Potential energy. What kind of energy do we have right here? Kinetic. 
So we're going from a potential to a kinetic energy, right? And so if we can set up that equality, we can figure it out. Now what kind of potential is here? Is it UE or UC? UE, okay, this is UE. UC, remember, is the energy stored in the plates, within the plates themselves, not the energy here within the electric field. So we're gonna use UE. So let's go ahead and find the velocity of the electron after. So letter A, we're gonna just use conservation of energy. So E initial equals E final. The initial energy we're saying is uh, the electric potential energy. Final is kinetic. We memorized our equations, of course. What's the equation for UE? VQ. VQ. What's the equation for kinetic? All right, let's go ahead and solve it. So I gave you the voltage was 9. We have the Q, which is an electron, right? We So we know the Q, 1.6. We know the mass of an electron, 911. V squared. What do you guys get for V? Arwen, did you get B? that being confirmed? Yeah. All right, so that's the velocity as it exits. Good. Okay, so let's find the, what was B? The path of the electron. So we're now gonna figure out the path of the electron, right? So this we're just gonna be using our right-hand rule. So go ahead and do your right-hand rule. All right, we'll try FUFAR and see if it works. So, right hand, right? So here comes his right hand, it's going this way with the velocity, and then what direction is the B field? X, which means what direction? Into, <laughs> it's actually easier, so he's going down into, and what direction is his palm facing? North, but it's an electron, right? So what do we do? The opposite, so it should be south, okay? Or you could use your left hand rule if he does his left hand roll, he's going this way, right? And palm is going south. So the answer should be south. And if I asked you to sketch it, you should be sketching it something like this. So it's coming through, you would draw a circle, something like that. So the initial one is south, but uh, eventually it goes in a circle. Okay, let's go ahead and do uh, C, exit position. So again, in the last problem we did it kind of baby steps, and you can always do it with baby steps. Let's try to do it all at once this time. So our equation for the exit position, or our equation for FB, basically we're just gonna use, you know, old school summation some of the forces, we only have one force, that's FB. Remember, gravity can be neglected. So we have FB equals MA, but what kind of A is this? Centripetal, Centripetal A, right? Hi, sorry. It's okay. I just gotta get this off the table, it's bothering me. Oh. Do you want it? Um, I think I have one, but I'll no. toss okay. it for you. Sorry. So FB equals MAC. What's our equation for FB? BBQ. What's our equation for AC? B squared over R. Okay, let's keep going. 
So v, one of the v's cancels. Solve for r. r equals mv over um, bq. Now remember, I didn't actually ask for r. What did I ask for? d, right? So d is equal to twice r. So if this was one of those formula only uh, at problems, this would be the answer. So you go 2mv divided by b over q. Okay, I'm not going to make the substitution. Go ahead and do it. And someone just pop out the answer for me. Confirmed. 4.0 times 10 to the s negative 6. Confirmed. Okay, so let's get into the really the new part of the problem here, which is uh, what happens afterwards. So we're looking for the signs on the charge plates. So this, we want it to go in a straight line. So it, it's going to go in a circle. We're going to add some plates here to have it go in a straight line. Now the reason it goes in a circle is as it enters, there's a force pushing it down initially, right? And then it goes in a circle as we talked about er earlier. So if we want it to go in a straight line, what do we want to do? Okay, yeah, we want we want to create an upward force to counteract that downward force. So what should be the sign on the bottom plates? Negatives. negatives. Yeah, we're going to put negatives on the bottom plates so that this will create an upward force, which we can call Fe, an electrical force going up. So that's kind of the, you know, conceptually that's what's going on here. We want those to be in balance so that now they're in equilibrium, there's no net force, and therefore um, it just its inertia allows it to keep going, right? Objects in motion stay in motion, there's no net force on it. So where do we go from here? How do we find letter E? How do we find the direction of that field? Or how do we find the magnitude of that field? Well, if we want these to go in a straight line, well, it should be true of those two forces. They should be equal, good. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just going to say that Fe should be equal to Fb. We want to set that kind of equality, right? Fe equals Fb. So our force in the electric, you guys remember this equation? E Q. Q. F equals Eq, remember? And Fb we know is BBQ. Okay, notice that the Q's cancel, and so E is simply B times V. So B was 5, V was, I forget, 1.77 times 10 to the 6. What's our value for E? Okay, I did ask you for the direction. What's the direction, if we look at our picture, what's the direction of the field? Down, okay, be careful. Even though the force is up, right, we want the force to counteract this. Remember, this was a negative charge, so the force is up because it's a negative. If I put a positive right here in the field, what's it going to do? going down, right? And so the B, the E field is down or south, however you want to phrase it. Okay, so that'd be our final. Okay. 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 Ok